I owe you actual service. In today's video, I'll be talking about what I think of the concept of making cloaks from either wax canvas or oil cloth. What I'm wearing today is an old oil cloth cloak I made maybe three or four years ago. The pattern is a little bit unusual. I'll put a photograph on the screen of what the pattern is. I'll tell you later in the video why I've made it quite differently to how I would make other cloaks. And I'll also get to why I don't regularly use this cloak in the video as well. I'm making this video because quite a lot of people regularly ask in the comments about the concept of making cloaks up out of medievally appropriate waterproof fabrics like oilcloth and wax canvas. I know that they're strictly not medievally appropriate when they're made in the way that we make them today, but it's the closest it's commercially available. Now you might be thinking that it's a little bit odd that I've grouped wax canvas and oil cloth together in the same video. Um, now wax canvas and oil cloth are technically different because oil cloth is when you soak the fabric in boiled linseed oil and then you leave it to dry and it sort of polymerizes which gives you a waterproof fabric. And wax canvas is when you paint molten wax onto canvas and let it dry which will mean that the canvas is soaked with wax through so that it makes it waterproof. Now the advantage of oil cloth over wax canvas is that wax rubs off fabric so wax fabric needs re-waxing whereas because linseed oil polymerizes it doesn't need retreating nearly as often if at all I'm not really sure but it lasts for longer. Now the reason that I'm grouping them together is because in terms of actual physical properties and what they feel like to wear, they're very, very similar fabrics. The good points about using wax canvas or oil cloth, which are why lots of people think and ask in the comments why don't you use it, are as follows. Wax canvases and oil cloths are fully waterproof and they don't get waterlogged. So as you can see here in the rain, I was meant to be making an archery video today, but for obvious weather related reasons I can't. The water is landing on this fabric and it's running off it and it isn't soaking in because the oil cloth treatment is preventing it from being able to soak in. Because it's fully waterproof, it's also fully windproof, which means I could be stood in a gale and the wind wouldn't be blowing through the fabric and getting to my skin and cooling me down. It would be blocked by the fact that the fabric is completely waterproof. And honestly, that's just about where it ends in terms of good points, because you think that those are actually very strong advantages, but in my personal opinion, they are far outweighed by the negative points of a cloak made of fabric like this. The disadvantages of using wax canvas or oil cloth for cloaks. Lots of people mention that it might be a bit of an issue because it isn't breathable. Now, I actually find that that isn't one of the major disadvantages because although it isn't breathable the fabric is only actually in contact with you on your shoulders and if you've got a pack strap where the pack strap is pushing it against you and other than that it's nice and loose which means you've got plenty of airflow so it doesn't really get that sweaty the more major disadvantages for me are that it's not insulating in the slightest now it's not really that cold a day today but I am getting quite cold because I'm wearing this instead of a wool cloak which means I haven't got extra layers underneath and this doesn't offer any protection from cold weather because it is completely thermally conductive I suppose. Not only is it not very warm to wear but the fabric itself is actually cold to the touch because the oil cloth coating conducts heat very well which means it actually feels like there's something cold on me. So if I wanted to make this warm enough to wear in cooler weather, I'd have to wear as much wool as I would have on if I was wearing a wool cloak underneath it and then put this on top. Also, because the oil cloth or wax canvas treatment is a treatment, that treatment does tend to rub off on surfaces. So surfaces it's been in contact with end up feeling quite greasy and can get dirty. Now for the wood scrambling clothes, that obviously isn't too much of an issue, but it is a bit annoying when you put it on your carpets and you get a stain from where the wax canvas or where the oil cloth has been. But that does get less bad over time, but only because the coating starts to wear off. So that could be considered a negative point. So now we're starting to get towards the much worse negative points of this fabric. It is very heavy. Now I'm going to say this. 
it is a lot more heavy than wool is dry but it's probably not more heavy than wool is when it's wet but wool sheds its water quite quickly so if wool gets waterlogged and then it stops raining the water will drain out of it and it will get quite light quite quickly so it's not really that much of an issue but the fabric itself when it's dry is very heavy which means you're carrying a lot of extra weight and you've also got to carry the extra weight of the extra layers that you wear underneath it in order to stay warm. Now I did say I'd say later in the video why this pattern is subtly different. This pattern is subtly different in order to save yardage of fabric to make it lighter. So this is actually lighter than it would be if I'd made it in a standard cloak pattern. But I didn't want to do that because when I received the bolt of fabric after ordering it on the internet it was so heavy that I actually adjusted the pattern to reduce the weight. Now if you're going to be near campfires and stuff a lot, oil cloth and wax canvas are flammable. This is actually modern printed fabric so it's slightly less flammable. But I find that the biggest problem and the biggest reason why I don't wear it is actually noise. Because I'm actually, every single time I move all I can hear is the sound of the fabric crinkling. And I would actually prefer to get a wet head than wear this hood because I'm not aware of anything that's happening in the woodland around me because all I can hear is the sound of crinkling fabric. And it also seems to muffle sounds a lot more than a wool hood does. To conclude this video I'll say that this is good because it doesn't absorb water so in driving rain it is probably the best choice. But I find myself using more densely woven wools for cloaks much more often because I just find that they're better and more practical in quite a large number of ways. So wool is much lighter than less it's sodden but it also takes wool a very long time to become completely sodden with water. It's trade-offs really because if I was out in rain for 12 hours in a woolen cloak it would become completely sodden and it would become very heavy but if I was only out like say for six hours and it rained for some of that time the water would drain out of the wool so it wouldn't actually get that heavy and it would keep the majority from dry and wool is also warm when wet so I wouldn't get cold whereas in this I'm naturally going to be colder because I'm not wearing an insulating wool cloak but it's also going to be heavy all the time which is kind of a bit of a disadvantage really now wool is also naturally fire extinguishing if wool starts to burn, unless it's still in contact with the heat source, it will go out on its own. Which means that if you get exposed to flame, you don't have to like panic in case an ember lands on you and you burst into flames. Because if an ember lands on you, it will just go out. And also, wool is completely silent. So when you're wearing a wool cloak, you're not feeling fabric rustling all the time. And you're not hearing fabric rustling all the time. And you can hear what's going on around you because if your hood is up, you can't really hear it making noises every time you make a tiny movement. So it just is much more comfortable and much less annoying really. Which, which is probably why wool has been used throughout most of human history for clothing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this interesting and if you've had similar experiences or if you find that wax canvas or oil cloth are actually great materials for clothing, let me know in the comments below and also tell me why. I'll see you in the next video. They are far outweighed by negative disadvantages. That doesn't make sense.